Rod Williams to trigger against Dave Johnson. Quinnipiac stays straight, man to man. Gary Wallace with the basketball. Belton Jones around Ruddy. The floater is good with 4.3 seconds to go. The Colonials have a two-point lead and Quinnipiac calls for time. Just a spectacular play of Jones, just going right around defensively. Justin Ruddy came out on the hedge move. He went around the defense, was, was never able to catch back up on him. So one problem with the hedge, the defense can't get there. And again, you've got players rotating over. Deontay Twyman trying to get there. He's late in there. And of course, with James Johnson on the hedge move, he was trailing the play. Belton Jones hit four free throws in the final minute to help clinch the first round victory over Wagner on Thursday. Here with a clutch field goal, he's got himself 13 points, eight coming in the second half. He is five of 12 from the field as Karan Abraham with the torn Achilles looks on in that Colonials bench. And look at the smile on his face. He can't believe he's not playing. Well, he's a happy camper. Here's an interesting thing right now. Does Tom Moore decide to try to throw the ball to half court without that clock starting and call a timeout? and then have three point whatever something left they only have this one timeout left and then try to run a play from half court with three some odd seconds because then at half court you might be able to throw the ball into the paint area along the baseline and i think you got to believe that they're going to try to take a drive to the basket get a foul get to the charity strike obviously if it goes in it ties it up they make a free throw they win the ball game obviously robert morris has had to come up play full court make them put the ball down on the floor and Robert Morris is in the double bonus with 10 fouls, Terry. Absolutely. So anything they do here puts Quinnipiac on the line for guaranteed two. Got a big guy on the ball. Good decision there by Andrew Toole. Russell Johnson to guard Dave Johnson. Gets it into James Johnson, who nearly fumbles it away. Into the forecourt. He gets off a three. It is short. And it is over. The Robert Morris Colonials have survived in the NEC semifinals. They have knocked off Quinnipiac for the third straight year in the NEC tournament, and they will head to the championship game Wednesday night at LIU. Spectacular finish to the ball game. Belton Jones did a great job on the drive down there. James Johnson, I think, caught it, was really trying to catch it and run at the same time, was really never in control all the way up the sideline. May have gotten bumped a little bit, didn't get a call there. You're not going to get that kind of call in this type of a ball game. And so, as you said, again, the Bobcats lose. This time it's in the semifinals and a chance to go play LIU. And here is Robert Morris without Karan Abram in the final game on Wednesday night against Jim Ferry. Belton Jones with the running floater gave Robert Morris the lead and here's Quinnipiac's final set. Robert Morris does a great job of making them catch the ball in the half court. And as he's trying to make that shot, James Johnson with about a, a second and three tenths left, kind of stumbles a little bit. No real shot of that going in. His feet slipped out from him. Had it gone, it would have been a three-pointer and given the Bobcats a win. Robert Morris survives back after this. Connecticut, where Robert Morris, Morris has cleared out the building with a 64-62 win over Quinnipiac in the NEC semifinals. Velton Jones wins it with a runner with 4.3 seconds to go. He is our Ruby Tuesday player of the game, and he's standing by with Tara Petrolino. Velton, you are hearing it from your RMU fans over here. Probably no bigger shot than the one you just hit with seconds remaining. Talk to me about what you're feeling right now. Uh, it feels good, man. Nobody thought we could come in and win this game at their place, but... We, are, we believe, like we, uh, we just believe, and it was a big shot, That's, it went, it, it went it in. It certainly was. You are from Philadelphia, a big basketball town. What will they think about this win when you tell your friends back at home? Oh uh, man, they always watching, so uh, Philadelphia got a lot of heart, and that's all I can say is just heart, heart hit that shot in. You will be heading to Brooklyn next to go up against the favored Blackbirds of LIU. What is going to be key for this Colonials team to get the title? Uh, rebound the ball and follow our formula. Doing what we've been doing the last past eight games and just play hard and follow our formula. Well, it's another exciting one here. Congratulations and good luck to you in the final. Thank you. Paul?
Well, Tower was Velton Jones' goal in the in the final two minutes that broke a 48-48 tie last year in the NEC final in this building. And Robert Morris knocked off Quinnipiac then before heading to the NCAAs. Well, Robert Morris is going to the NEC final on Wednesday.